Are we? Yes. So it's saying that we're live. The screen looks a little blurry, so let me know if you guys can see me out there in the internet world. I want to talk about seesawing in your business. Um, for those of you, if this is your first time, I am Tanya Wilson. I'm a master life and business coach, and I work mainly with women. So. I help, help women to step into their personal power, scale their businesses, and create a lifestyle that they love. I focus from a three-point perspective, abundance mindset, personal growth, and business building. And one of the main reasons that those are the, the three categories that I, I work with women on is because as I began my coaching business, the women who were coming to me for help in their business also had personal structures or aspects in their life that were impacting the results in their business. And I said, there is absolutely no way I can teach these business strategies to these amazing women without sharing with them some of the more internal things that are transpiring from things they're doing in their personal life that actually impact their business. And so this morning, I, I wanna speak from that place. Um, you see in the title, we're talking about seesawing up and down. You guys remember on the playground, we used to seesaw where it goes up and down, up and down. Well, that was fun when we were youth and on the playground, but it's not fun in your business. And I, I want to talk to women specifically because it's pertinent that we understand that our nervous system is not made up the same as men, right? So that means that although we are capable of doing many things that men do, over time, it doesn't impact our body the same simply because God has designed us differently our, from an internal perspective. And this is why I talk about building a business from the inside out. But our nervous systems just aren't the same. Uh, for instance, when we first start out in entrepreneurship, if you start out like in your early 20s, you know, you about 10 years, the same measure that you use to build your business is it's just not the same you you don't feel the same you don't go as hard i remember those long hard hours and just being in the grind and in the hustle and had i known a simpler way i'm sure i would have done that then but um the thing that happens is you don't always see the effects of what's transpiring initially from the way that you're running your business but over time, when you really start being aware, and oftentimes this happens when women really want something different. They want to do life different. They want to do their business different. Time freedom becomes important to them. Spending time with family, friends, experience, experiences in life outside of the business uh, begin to rise to the surface and become a space of, important and it's of importance. And normally during that time, this is when there are many transitional things that transpire for women in their business. And they may notice this one thing that I'm going to call seesawing to give you a more visual effect of what I'm speaking of happening in their business. This may be where they're having really great results and then not so much or they just go really hard on a new project and then experience burnout. Now, I remember in my previous career, so I owned a brick and mortar service-based business for a decade prior to coaching and consulting full time. And I noticed as it was time for me to transition, as it was time for me to step into a new role, I started feeling, I think it started with like maybe every six months, I was feeling undecided about what I was doing and then that turned every three months and then it felt like every month I started saying, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? But I recognized some patterns and things 
that were transpiring and things that you can do to support you so you don't experience burnout so quickly, so you don't experience the seesawing consistently and constantly in your business. So here are some of the things that that seesawing can very much come from. Number one, last minute decisions. Last minute decisions. So if you know my background story, you know that in high school my mom started giving me a planner to which I didn't use. Eventually I used it. I saw that it was impacting my life differently in a very positive way and eventually I mastered um, my time by developing different systems for even writing things down it turned one thing turned into another as it related to time management and then it merged into creating a long-term vision for my life and my business it has been my baby right it was actually one of the first ways that people outside of me hosting my own seminars reached out to me to pay to pay me to come and teach the systems that I had incorporated in my own business. I had clients in my previous industry who I was sharing those systems with just pro bono, right, just off the rip, who were getting amazing results. And so as I began to see the, the impact, I learned that it was such a foundational place, the, the planning and, you know, being prepared for one of the things that people face so much, which is that seesaw effect, which often ends in burnout. And so last minute decisions, guys, is have you ever like decided you're gonna run errands and then at the last minute you're trying to grab everything you need, whether you need to stop somewhere and you need paperwork or if you're like I used to be, like I will always, couldn't find the keys. Anybody else? or something that I needed to take. And so I developed these systems. Sorry guys, I should have turned that um, that sound off. I developed these systems that help me full circle in my life because the energy, remember I talked to you guys about how our nervous system as women is simply not made up like men's nervous system. Now this is something that you know men can definitely take heed to as well. Um, it, it always helps. One second, I'm just going to take this moment to turn us on. Do not disturb. I apologize for the interruption, guys, but I'm not sure if someone's going to text or call again, and I want to be able to give you my undivided attention um, while I'm on talking about the seesawing thing, but just the fact that you have a plan makes a huge difference because one of the huge energy leaps for us as women is decision making, making last minute decisions. It's a space where we leak energy because if you're in a flow state, it doesn't require as much energy as it does if you're having to patch things up or do things at the last minute. Here's what this may look like. So. If, say for instance you don't have a plan, you just, you're into 2023, but this is going to be your year and your business is going to reach a six-figure or multiple six-figure mark this year and you just go to bat, you just go really hard, the 2023 rolls in and you just working, doing your thing, right? But... In actuality, you don't have a real plan for that. Much like I was when I told myself I would retire at 35. Now, because I didn't have a more defined plan of what that actually looked like, I hit maybe 28, 29, and something went off in my head and said, you, you're not going to retire at 35. Not like this. Because I was thinking that if I just worked harder, I would make more money. Right? I just saw, I said, well, I'm just going to keep working and I'm going to work harder and harder. Guys, that is not the answer. It is the, one of the quickest ways to burn out is just saying, I'm just going to work harder, but on what? Harder on what? We know people in our lives. You can go down the list in your mind of people who have worked really, really hard, 
who have not made it to where they really wanted to be in their 50s and 60s. And they're working really, really hard. And then exhaustion sets in. And so when we operate our life by doing things at the last minute, we often leak energy. This can be deciding to launch a program at the last minute. So now you're scurrying around to create everything <clears throat> that you need to create for it. I'm not talking about getting a download. I'm talking about this is how you run your business all year long. Because I believe in inspired action. I believe that there are times that you just get a nudge or there's a pull or call to share something with your audience. I believe in that fully. But if that is how you're running your entire business, it's not sustainable. Because each and every time you have to create this new product at the last minute or this new service that you're going to offer at the last minute, you now have something else to market. People need to see it. And I'm seeing people, and I understand where the energy is coming from, who make one post or announce something one or two times and no one signs up and in their mind it just didn't work and there are people who can come on and they can talk about something one time and have tons of people to buy but do you understand the momentum that they've created prior even if it was throughout years of showing up building the no like and trust factor as it relates to who they are as a brand and either having a large following or audience or something of that nature. This, is this making sense? And so sometimes as we're building our brand, we'll see this and we'll think, well, I don't have to market it but one time. And if people don't come on, it wasn't a good offer or they don't want it. This is why... You know, when you're thinking about your business long term, this is for those of you who want sustainability in your business, not just hit or miss. You want sustainability. When you're thinking about it from a long term perspective, a plan is necessary. A plan is necessary. So here's one of the things, one of the ways I create my plan for the year. And for those of you, um, you may have already seen that I'm off my Destiny by Design program is open, but I'm also doing a bonus four day live intensive called Plan to Profit. And I'm going to be showing you how I plan my year out as it relates to my business, my program, my services. Um, I'm going to be there to answer questions for your business as well. But there is an energy you need to get into for whatever it is that you're offering. And oftentimes when you're just, I'm just going to post this. There is, you know, it's, it's, it's often not enough. Now, the other reason this may be occurring is because you may have done that before. And boom, some people signed up. Timing. Everything was just in harmony at that time. But long-term sustainability, you have to prepare yourself to get in the energy of what it is you're going to offer. If you have more than one product or service, especially those of you who are coaches and consultants, there's an energy behind each program or offer that you're delivering. If I could tell you guys how important your energy is, how important it is to like really go within, dive deeper into your business so that you're getting the result that you desire. So maybe that one time it worked and you're thinking, I'm just I'm just going to pop this out there and 50 people going to buy it. And then disappointment sets in when it doesn't. And eventually, because of how our nervous system is made as women, it's it's too it's too much for our nervous system to even handle. And we fall into complacency. Many people stop whatever it is they said they were going to do for this new year because there is no um, affirmation or receptivity to what it is that you're doing. I'm also going to be sharing one of the easiest. Now, this is really good for those of you who have a brick and mortar. 
But even for those of you who are coaches, depending on what type of coaching business you have, I'm going to share one of the easiest marketing plans. When I tell you guys, listen, it's going to blow you away. The simplicity of you know creating marketing around the system that I'm going to show you inside the plan to profit is going to make things easier. You're not going to be leaking energy from making last minute decisions. It leaks energy, guys, right? So remember, our body system, it just does not regulate the same. And even for men, they can benefit, you know, from, from having a plan for their business throughout the year. This is where you go full on and then crash and burn, right? And so, launching a product or several new products, seesaw, seesaw. What if there was a rinse and repeat blueprint you could form for your business that not only worked for you, but it also worked for your clients, your customers, potential clients and customers who are watching you online. What if there was a way that you could plan out your year that was more sustainable? When I'm talking to my clients and we're talking about building, maybe they are building a course or a coaching program or they have a new product that they want to launch for their, their clients and customers. I always ask them to look some steps ahead because it's going to require energy. How are you going to sustain it? Do you have the, the appropriate steps? Are there systems in place? Because I help women to create um, more, less their effort, right? And so when we find <clears throat> those masculine structures and those masculine containers that make things easier long term, it always allows for more sustainability. So when you have a plan, right? When you have a plan, you, you've now began creating this foundation for sustainability. That you can continue to do it that way over and over again, getting even better result, results, getting more refined, all of the things. And so if you find that you've been seesawing um, in, in your business, you've got to ask yourself, do I have long-term sustainability in the way that I'm getting clients and customers, in the way that I'm servicing clients and customers, those processes and procedures that it takes to, number one, acquire a customer, uh, but two, to be able to provide the service for the customer. Is it sustainable? And this is why many people struggle with running the business and then maybe marketing on social media. I've been asked so many times, how do you stay so consistent? Guys, I'm, I share with you all the time that I go into reflection mode. I have a system that I use that I've created where I can look at what is transpiring, what's working, what's not working, what do I need to do differently, number one, so that my energy has the capacity for what it is that I'm building. Number two, so that this thing is going to be beneficial for the clients who are aligned with my brand, who want me to support them in their business so that I can serve them at the highest. And as your business is growing and evolving and times are changing, you taking a deep dive, like really honoring yourself and honoring the work that you're putting out into the world, you honoring yourself by taking the time to really look at your business is going to benefit you, your business, your family, your customers long term. And so if this is you and you, you say, Tanya, I've been experiencing that seesaw in my business, even in my emotions. I feel like it one day, the next day I don't. You know, I'm getting results, higher results today and then a month later not. Join me inside either Design Your Destiny course, which is a four-week course that includes the four-day live virtual plan to profit intensive. It's a bonus if you join 
the Destiny by, by Design course and there are um, installment options for that or you can simply join 3D Success Academy where the Destiny by Design course is housed and then you can get support the entire year right this is for those of you you're like I want to go deeper I know I need the accountability you can join this way you also get the four day live intensive so you get all of it if you join 3D Success Academy but if you just want to sit down and find the the mindset the energy the execution plan and blueprint for really planning out your new year so that it's sustainable right so that you're building a sustainable business you know when we're in a certain stage mentally and emotionally and as it relates to activity in our business we're really just thinking about something we can play with now but is it sustainable is it sustainable so I'd love for you to join me for the plan to profit four day live intensive you can join that intensive singularly uh, there's a link I'll share all of the links uh, it's actually on the destiny by design page it gives you an option to either join through the Academy or join by jo you know joining us for an entire month in the destiny by design course which is accelerating your vision um, or you can join singularly as I said before or joining the Academy but if you've been seesawing and you like listen it, it is kind of burning me out I'm like super hyped and then I'm having these highs and lows whether that's in the results I'm seeing in my business or my energy I love for you to come and you know find the energetics that you need the mindset and also the the plan like something that you can look back on and connect back to during those times where you feel like uh oh I feel like I'm a teeter totter you have this to to look back at you're not leaking energy because you haven't decided that's my take on today about seesawing in your business and I know we want to be in this flow state but you get in the flow state by also having some masculine structures and containers and a plan um, very well can house all the creativity the artistry the the visionary thoughts and ideas that you have a plan is the container to hold that when we think about relationships right I'm gonna take it there for a minute so our feminine energy is wounded when we don't have a masculine container I could go real deep deep deep, deep on that right because uh, we're talking about relationships and how we normally when we're in our feminine energy are attracted to men who are providers and protectors that's that masculine container right not controlling this telling us what to do but that masculine container this there's polarity no different from your business and we're often wounded as feminines when we don't have that masculine container so for you in in a relationship with a male a masculine container for us would be him having a vision him having a plan if he wants to take you out if he's letting you know ahead of time giving you time to prepare he's not popping things up on you at the last minute he's not everything is spontaneous he doesn't know the feminine really operates really great when there are masculine containers that can be okay what time would you like to go what day would you like to go those are masculine structures and this is often why relationships be off balance I could go deeper I am gonna go deeper because next month we're going to be um, diving into some feminine and masculine energy things um, that I'll be sharing with you but listen this for us as women a good 70 percent of us operating in our feminine even 80 if we you know are really learning to balance that thing out is really good but the other needs to be supported by masculine structures to hold all the feminine energy right and creativity so that there is not chaos so i hope that kind of mellowed things out for you and show the importance of having a plan even if you're a feminine embodied leader it's got to be some masculine structure somewhere to hold all that stuff because see in in our feminine state and and our femininity is is very free-flowing and um, creative and, and it's also really emotional imagine no container on emotions 
Mm -hmm. That's what your business looks like when you don't have a plan. It's just like out there. Nothing predictable happening. Yes, really, really creative, but no momentum, no flow. It's really not attracting the best of the best because it's, you know, all over the place. So for those of you, you're like, I've already said 2023 is going to be my year. And I, I usually somewhat plan my business for what I'm known to do, but I really want to take this to a new level. I want to embody planning for my business in a different way. One that also supports me um, in being able to have the energy and the mindset and the sustainability for the long-term results that I want in not only my business, but my life, like my whole life, right? I want to help you step into a new level of personal power. And some of that power is in your planet. I'll put the links in the comments. If you come back on and you found value, let me know in the comments. This is registering for you. Share this with another entrepreneur who you feel will really benefit from hearing this message and also joining us inside um, either 3D Success Academy, Destiny by Design, or the Plan to Profit um, four day live intensive that you can get. Either way, you join, um, whether it's through the Academy or Destiny by Design, you get the four day live um, intensive or you can join separately I thank you guys I appreciate you I love you guys I hope you're having a super blessed amazing day I pray that this has resonated for you deeply as you continue to push into this first month of I don't even want to say pursuit but alignment